Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, we will now have the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The opening prayer. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. A fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Litany of the Divine Mercy, kindly stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God, we trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomable love of the sanctifier, we trust in you. Divine mercy, expression of the greatest might of God, we trust in you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery of the most blessed Trinity, we trust in you. Divine mercy, in creation of heavenly spirits, we trust in you. Divine mercy, in calling us forth from nothingness to existence, we trust in you. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole universe, we trust in you. Divine mercy, endowing us with immortal life, we trust in you. Divine mercy, shielding us from deserved punishment, we trust in you. Divine mercy, lifting us from the misery of sin, we trust in you. Divine mercy, justifying us through the person of the incarnate word, we trust in you. Divine mercy, which flowed out from the wounds of Christ, we trust in you. Divine mercy, gushing forth from the sacred heart of Jesus, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, giving us the Blessed Virgin Mary as Mother of Mercy, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in revealing the mysteries of God, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in the founding of the Holy Church, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in instituting the Holy Sacraments, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, first of all, in the Sacraments of Baptism and Penance, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in the Holy Eucharist and the Sacrament of Holy Orders, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in calling us to the Holy Faith, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in the conversion of sinners, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in sanctifying the just, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, in perfecting of the pious, we trust in you. Divine Mercy, Font of help for the sick and the suffering, we trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts, we trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls, we trust in you. Divine mercy, accompanying us in every moment of our life, we trust in you. Divine mercy, anticipating our needs with graces, we trust in you. Divine mercy, Repose of the dying, we trust in you. Divine mercy, heavenly delight of the saved, we trust in you. Divine mercy, respite and relief of the souls in purgatory, we trust in you. Divine mercy, crown of all saints, we trust in you. Divine mercy, inexhaustible source of miracles, we trust in you. Lamb of God, who revealed the greatest mercy, in redeeming the world by dying on the cross, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who mercifully offers yourself for our sake in every holy mass, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away our sins with inexhaustible compassion, have mercy on us. The mercy of God is above all his works, and we will praise the divine mercy forever and ever. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will 
which is love and mercy itself. the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
Let's glorify our God as we sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. A very good morning, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, mercy of God. And at the same time, the gospel speaks about peace, peace I give to you. If I were to ask you, are you in peace? Yes, Father, we are in peace, I am in peace. But are you surely in peace? You never got angry, you never got disturbed in any way. We are all restless sometimes. We lose our peace for one reason or another. And above all, we lose our peace because of our sinfulness. And so, dear sisters and brothers, let us pause for a moment, asking him once again for the strength to be forgiven, to enjoy this peace, to be restored in us. And so let us pause for a moment and ask him for pardon and mercy. And let us together cry out to him as we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, in, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole community remained faithful to the teaching of the Apostles, to the brotherhood, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. The many miracles and signs worked through the Apostles made a deep impression on everyone. The faithful all lived together and owned everything in common. They sold their goods and possessions and shared out the proceeds among themselves 
according to what each one needed. They went as a body to the temple every day, but met in their houses for the breaking of bread. They shared their food gladly and generously. They praised God and were looked up to by everyone. Day by day, the Lord added to their community those destined to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his love. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love has no end. I was trust, trust down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his love has no end. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love has no end. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in His great mercy, has given us a new birth as His Son by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, so that we have a sure hope and a promise of an inheritance that can never be spoiled or soiled and never fade away because it is being kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which has been prepared, which has been prepared is revealed at the end of time. 
this is a cause of great joy for you. Even though you may for a short time have to bear being plagued by all sorts of trials, so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like gold. Only it is more precious than gold, which is corruptible even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and glory and honour. You did not see him, yet you love him, and still without seeing him, you are already filled with a joy so glorious that it cannot be described. Because you believe and you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward, that is the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. said, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, Doors, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you. And showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, we have seen the Lord, he answered, unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, my Lord, my God. 
Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, anger. Many during this Advent as we are customary for all the priests to go to listen to confessions in all the parishes. More than 90% of the people who came to me, I do not know about other priests who came to me, one of their problems is the sin of anger. And what can anger do? There was once this man who wanted to take his son for a drive. So he made his son sit next to him and he got into his car. Just as he was about to drive off the front tire of his, the right side of his car, he realized it is flat. And so he had to open his booth take out the Stephanie and uh, Jack and obviously he had to change the tire. While he was doing that, his son who was seated next to him, had an object with him and he started scratching on that dashboard or probably on the side of the door, scratching with something. The father didn't realize that then. Afterwards, when he finished replacing the tire, he saw the scribble and he saw the son. What are you doing? And he got so mad with the son and he said, you know, this is BMW. What stupid thing you have done. And he took a spanner that he had used just now and hit on his hand until he hurt his fingers so much that he became like minced meat. The father, not realizing this anger, the son was wailing and crying, shouting, screaming, and the father rushed him to the hospital. And upon arriving at the hospital, the son was rushed into the operation theater. The father sat outside and he was crying because what he had done to his son. And afterwards, when that operation was done, he was brought into the ward. The father went to him, son, are you okay? You know what the son said? Daddy, when are my fingers going to grow? He was about four years, five years old. The father naturally cried even more. Oh my God, what have I done? Afterwards, when he went back home, he wanted to go and see the scribble on that dashboard. And he saw written on the dashboard, I love you, Dad. His heart was even more troubled. Dear sisters and brothers, in anger, we hurt ourselves, we hurt others. And there is another problem, greed. There was this husband and wife. Nowadays, the temperature, the heat wave is so much Yesterday, it was 38 degrees as I was going out to give communion. And uh, this husband said, okay, oh, this is very hot and I will get some ice cream packs and put into the fridge, in the freezer. And I will go for my jog. When I come back, I enjoy this ice cream. So he left it in the freezer and he went for his jog. And when he came back, he opened the freezer, the ice cream packet missing. And he turned to his wife. Hey, where, what happened to my ice cream? Huh? Oh, you know something? I read your medical report. Your cholesterol high and your sugar is high also. So I took the ice cream and threw it off. 
the husband got very mad naturally and he said look here what have you done did you ask me and there was a big fight so what he did he went and bought another pack and put in the freezer and enjoyed himself to satiate his pleasure and he ate it and then a few days later he bought another pack and then some time ago later another pack to satiate my pleasure by my hunger my to to satisfy myself i want more and dear sisters and brothers how much money is enough if your wife tells you no tonight what do you do you go elsewhere in any in any situation we want more we want more food we want more position if i've got already a position i want a bigger position and i want a bigger car and i'm greedy i'm greedy and this two problem which is bigger which is a bigger sin anger or greed if i may ask you greed only because you are greedy and you can't have it that you get angry and to these two problems that we have we got one big one and that big one is the source of all these problems you know what is that our desire we all have desires unstoppable desires and as long as these desires pervade your whole being you will get angry you will get greedy jesus tells us peace be with you p e a c e peace there's another word that sounds the same p i e c e peace and if you add an s there pieces if your mind is not in peace you will go into pieces what do i mean by this if your mind is dis ease d i s dash e a s e dis ease your being your body will become diseased disease this is in the mind will lead to disease in the body and so dear sisters and brothers our lord is here offering us three times in today's gospel he says peace be with you are you in peace or are you in pieces ask yourself be honest with yourself if i am in peace every single day i will not be triggered so easily to anger i will not want so much more nothing is enough for us and that is why we get angry and so dear sisters and brothers you are in the church and there's one one thing that one thing that you need utmost is peace when you have peace inside you will not be disturbed so easily we all get angry doesn't matter but that angry can be controlled how when somebody is angry with you or you get angry move away the other way is to shut up <laughs> very difficult ah huh? this mouth because the person is working me up working me up when you are in peace no worries that person cannot work you up so dear sisters and brothers if you are here today as you return hope there must be some peace inside you not just today every single day and that peace you can enjoy how many times we get angry in a day and how many times we are at peace or in peace a day so dear sisters and brothers as we pray for this grace from god when you are in turmoil turbulence inside you you can never enjoy peace sometimes people say i want to meditate because i am peaceless you cannot meditate when you are peaceless you only meditate and derive fruits of its labor of your meditation when you are calm when you are calm go into meditation when you are not calm don't go into meditation because you will be troubled how are you going to sit down most of us cannot ask you one minute close your eyes meditation 
mosquito will come some each will happen because when this body is troubled everything will happen so dear sisters and brothers let us pray for this grace during this mass divine mercy the feast of divine mercy he is offering us his peace he was able to walk through the wall because he was in a he was in a glorious state when you have come to that glorious state i'm not asking you that you can walk through the wall you will be in a beautiful state of peace and that is what he is offering his apostles and dear sisters and brothers today we celebrate divine mercy now that image there uh, which people come sometimes they forget the tabernacle they go and pray there but today we are having this special day divine mercy i had the privilege a few weeks back to be in this place where the original portrait of jesus i'm sure some of you have been vilanus vilnius in in lithuania that is the original drawing which sin fostina dictated to the painter to draw it sin fostina fostina had this vision february 22nd 1931 and this guy by the name of eugen kazimierowski polish of course he drew this painting in 1934 and what happened she died on 5th october 1938 and in 1943 adolf heiler drew that famous version after her death 5 years after her death so that is not the original this is the original now what happens you know when you draw a picture of jesus ordinary doesn't appeal draw macho handsome jesus wow everybody want to look at that picture and that got famous throughout the world all over the world but this did not get famous but this one if you see the face of jesus closely so gentle so child like so tender so dear brothers and sisters become gentle become child like be kind like jesus he's a merciful jesus and so this is the original but that is the i won't say fake <laughs> that is the one after she died the artistic the artist imagination and so whichever the case doesn't matter draw from him that power of peace of kindness of love gentleness and tenderness and he will continue to bless you continue to love him as you are take care to enjoy this life to the fullest amen let us stand and together let us profess our faith i believe in, in one, one god, god the, the father, father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for giving us Jesus in his resurrection. We want to shine that life. And so we turn to you knowing well you are our kind father and place all our intentions at your feet. For the church our holy father bishops and priests 
that they be strengthened and healed by the power of the Eucharist they celebrate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those newly welcomed into the life of the Church, that they may be united in heart and soul, and may be a sign of God's transforming and merciful love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, for our own parish community, that we may see the Lord in the signs He has left us, giving us new life in baptism and nourishing us in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Divine Master, merciful God, we thank you for answering all our needs. We just want to be so connected to you that we may be able to enjoy this resurrected life in you. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Transfigure us, O Lord, transfigure us, O Lord, bring the chains that bind us, speak a healing word, and make a little follow, transfigure us, O Lord, down from heights of Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain the unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O lord but on this day above all to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who was taken away who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Julian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and My dear sisters and brothers, as we pray the Our Father, a beautiful prayer that will sustain us in peace, let us remember this and with confidence turn to Him in the prayer He has taught us. As Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, from all peacelessness, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, of your church gathered here, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the risen Lord be with each one of you. And Amen. with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
peace be with you. My peace I give you. The peace that the world cannot give. As we come to receive him, let us ask him for this grace to enjoy this peace that he has promised us. Behold the Lamb of God Behold Him Who takes away the sins of the world Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. We invite all those watching to make an act of spiritual communion with a spirit of gratefulness, thanking God for his infinite love and sacrifice. With humble and contrite hearts, let us express our desire to invite Jesus into our souls. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
We spoke about peace. Jesus promised us peace. Right now, let us experience a moment of that peace. Having received Jesus, just breathe in and breathe out. And we ask of you to just relax. We ask of you. Enjoy this moment with the Lord. Increase the volume of the music a little bit more. Be in His presence. You have just received Him. My dear sister, my dear brother, make every effort every single day Make a little practice of spending a little more time and in silence every single day. Whether it is morning or evening or noon time, any time. Five minutes. Start with five minutes to give him the time. Like in a traffic jam. Sometimes we get agitated and we get angry in a jam. But like this, in our daily hustle and bustle of life, let us stop, look and go. Let us calm our whole system. All the atoms, neurons and protons in our body let them settle down. And let our Lord touch us. Don't be worried about time. Some of you right now are conscious about what time it is. When you're worried about time, you can never experience peace. Peace is beyond time, beyond anything. Peace cannot be seen but can be felt. And that is the one thing the Lord wants you to experience every day. A little peace every day. A little more and a little more. And you begin to enjoy tranquility in your mind, in your heart, in your whole being. Every day be with a heart of gratitude. Thank Him for the whole of creation. Thank Him for all that He has given us. Thank you for the persons, the people whom He has put in your life. Thank Him for this breath. 
Thank him for this peace. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. He is with you. He loves you. Peace be with you. Very gently, please stand. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can we be seated for a while for announcements? We welcome new parishioners to our parish. Please stand so we can welcome you. Moving on. There will be no morning mass on Wednesday, 19th April, as the priests will be away for recollection. Divine Mercy Sunday, Divine Mercy Chaplet Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and Benediction will be held at 3 p.m. 16th April at the church. All are welcome. Reverend Father Xavier Andrew will be away from 18th April to 2nd May. Reverend Father Philip Tay will be in charge of all pastoral matters. For emergency calls, please contact the parish office. Choice Tamil KL Weekend will be held on Friday, 19th to Sunday, 21st May at APC, St. Anthony's Church, Pudu KL. Tamil speaking single adult, age 23 to 39 years old, are encouraged to participate in this weekend. Kindly contact Asayo or Mani Moli Maria. Contact numbers are in the bulletin. The Visitation Free Maths Tuition class organized by PIHDM for Form 3 students will start on Thursday, 20th April from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. at the Formation Classroom. Those interested, please contact Elizabeth. Couples who are planning to get married, please fill up the form at the parish office and make your first meet appointment with the parish priest. Couples are responsible to ensure follow-up is done with the parish office on their wedding preparations. The Bible Timeline, the Story of Salvation study program will be conducted in two intakes. The first intake will commence from 12 May on Fridays from 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m and second intake on Sundays on 4th June from 12.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Those interested, kindly register with Emily for the May intake and Yvonne for the June intake. Contact numbers are in the bulletin. District Youth Program for all youths aged 17 to 30 will be held at the Church of St. Teresa Nilai from Friday, 28th April to Monday, 1st May. Come join us for a weekend of fun and excitement. Payment is at RM30 per person. Please contact Sabrina or you can register via Visitation Telegram. This weekend is the last opportunity to register. So a booth has been set up this morning after Mass. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Dear brothers and sisters, just two more announcements. One is this afternoon, the Divine Mercy Chaplet will be chanted and we'll have the, at the end of the whole program, the prayer session, we will have the blessing, the blessed sacrament. And so I invite as many of you to come. This Divine Mercy, uh, this devotion has been spreading quite widely all around the world. And people have been benefiting a lot from this beautiful devotion to our Lord. And so come closer to him and he will come closer to you. Lots of people have found 
the prayers answered with this three o'clock divine mercy prayers. So I encourage as many of you to participate. Yeah? Even if you don't come, do it at home whenever you find the time or when you spend, allocate a particular time to get into this devotion. So I welcome all of you being, today being the Divine Mercy Sunday, please come this afternoon at three o'clock. We'll have the five chaplets being chanted and we'll have the prayer and the benediction afterwards. Uh, so all are welcome. Make an effort. Uh, every Sunday afternoon we'll be sleeping. So today maybe we can pray. Hey, those of you who are sleeping, la. Father, I never sleep, Father. Okay, those of us are sleeping only. Those who are not sleeping, okay. Okay, the second thing is also, uh, uh, yeah, Speaking about peace and meditation and coming closer to God, the meditation room is opened already unofficially. So any one of you can come and spend time there. Uh, we don't have this time, specific time as yet. We will come with that afterwards. Now unofficially it is open. So you can come get, get your, the key from the parish office or the sacristans, one of the sacristans will have the key. Just open it and ask them to open for you and you can just spend time there. Whether it is five minutes or ten minutes or one hour, you are most welcome. But don't spend the whole day there because I am so in love with sweet Jesus Father and you spend it. Then I call, come, Father, my wife is missing and I will tell him, dial triple nine. <laughs> so, so, please um, take your time to come but you know, it's up to you to spend how long you want with the Lord. You can pray but all in silence can pray the rosary, the Bible reading, whatever prayer, but all in silence, you one-to-one, one-on-one with Jesus, okay? So this is the invitation to you throughout the year. From now on, we will have that privilege, blessing. Many people from KL and elsewhere ask, Father, when are you opening it? When are you opening it? People from elsewhere asking and they want to come. People next door to our parish uh, church, don't know la, what is happening. <laughs> I don't know. So I let you know then you know what is happening, right? So that is the reason I want to spend time with you in forming this kindly stand. After each invocation, please say, Amen. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten Son Endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. And now that the days of the Lord's Passover have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And with the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Apalagi, let's celebrate. Easter is not ended. Smile, love. Uh, we can sing smile or not.